The ANET 4540 desktop CNC machine is an affordable entry level CNC machine that can mill soft materials like wood, acrylic and aluminium. It is large enough for milling useful objects, yet it is small enough to be stored away in a corner when you don't need it. The ANET 4540 has a working area of almost 45 by 40 cm. The maximum working height is 9 cm. Not counting the power supply and controller, it occupies a surface of about 60 cm by 60 cm. The spindle motor is a 500 watt air cooled model with a maximum speed of 11,000 rpm. A computer can control the machine over USB. For this, the open source tool Kendall is included on the kit's USB pen drive. Standalone operation is possible too, thanks to its small remote control that can read and execute G code programs from an SD card. The ANET 4540 has a strong and stiff aluminium frame with a 12mm thick wooden MDF plate mounted on it. The Y axis guides sit on the left and right side of the frame. The X axis guide bridges the two Y axis guides. The spindle is mounted on the X axis. Both the X and Y axis have proper drag chain cable guides keeping the motor and end stop switch wires out of the way. The base plate has a 10 by 10 mm grid printed on it, which is practical for aligning objects. The origin is at point zero on the base plate. The X axis runs from left to right. The Y axis runs away from you. The spindle is on your side of the X axis. The base plate also has M6 threaded holes in it. These are intended for clamps to hold down the object that is being milled. The ANET 4540 comes partly assembled. It is up to you to finish it. Although this is not complicated and doesn't require special tools, it must be done with care and attention. The manual is succinct and the images are small and not always clear. Tighten all the nuts and bolts as much as possible to get rid of any slack there may be. Don't over tighten though, as the spindle and X axis should be allowed to move with as little friction as possible. When you have finished assembling the ANET 4540, place it on a stable, horizontal and flat vibration absorbing surface to keep shaking to a minimum. Now you can try it. The SD card plugged into the remote control contains four G code test programs. The program MyCNC.NC is a good start, as it is short and needs only a piece of material of 66 by 21 mm. The program engraves the text MyCNC with a depth of 2 mm. A piece of scrap wood or plastic is perfect for this. Place a sheet of wood, the martyr, on the base plate and place the object on top of that. The martyr serves to prevent accidental damage to the base plate if the spindle happens to go deeper than intended or when drilling holes. Screw two clamps in the base plate to keep the object firmly in place. Make sure the spindle can move around freely without bumping into clamps or other things. Insert one of the pointy cutters in the spindle's head. Be very careful doing this as they are razor sharp. The MyCNC program starts at the position of the spindle, which is the left bottom corner of the design. Therefore, move the spindle to the left bottom corner of the space reserved for the engraving. The head will engrave up to 66 mm to the right and up to 21 mm away from you. Lower the spindle so that the cutter just hovers above the surface. Ideally, it should not be possible to slide a piece of thin paper or film under it. The G-code program will use this height as Z equals zero. Plug in the power supply and switch it on. Then wait until the remote control shows a menu. Use the Y- and Y- buttons to select the file option and press OK. Select MyCNC.NC and press OK. Press OK once more to start engraving. The job takes about 80 seconds to complete. If something goes wrong, press the big red emergency stop button on the power supply or press exit on the remote control. You may be wondering what this thing is for. It is called the Z-probe and it is used to adjust the zero height position of the spindle. To do so, first measure the probe's thickness. Then place it on the workpiece and move the spindle above it. Attach the crocodile clip to a bare metal part of the spindle. Plug the other cable end into the cable coming out of the power supply. Now use the Z-probe function of the control software to adjust the zero level. You will use this feature often. 
If you made it this far, you are ready to go further. However, please keep in mind that this is not simply a matter of pulling a model from a website and printing it. Obtaining good results requires a lot of patience and experience. Have fun!